Yo, what's going on dudes? Hopefully everyone is doing okay, so welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go back to some Mod 2 stuff, and we're going to go over many roundabouts. So I apologise dudes, I put those roundabout videos up a few months ago. I was positive that I'd done a segment on many roundabouts. And I've had a few people asking me about them and I thought, well, that's weird, it should be in the video. And I went back and checked and it's not. So for whatever reason I didn't put it in, I've got no idea. I definitely recorded a bit on many roundabouts, but I obviously forgot to put it in the video. Or for, no idea. I've got no idea what happened, but it's not there. <laughs> I'm going to do a, a short video on many roundabouts. So many roundabouts are exactly as they sound, they're roundabouts but they're many. But there are a few key differences between them and there are some rules that still apply and some that don't. The first thing to indicate that you're coming up to a mini roundabout is obviously the signs. There are a couple of different signs. You'll get generally the blue one and then you'll get the red warning sign. A lot of mini roundabouts, a lot of them are in like kind of built up areas, you know, like housing schemes and things like that. Or places that have T-junctions or crossroads. And what they've done is they've just put a little mini roundabout there to kind of help ease the traffic a bit. Mini roundabouts don't have islands as such, you know, like this roundabout coming up. They're basically just a bit of white paint, a circle bit of white paint. Sometimes it can be raised, you know, just raised a little bit. And other times it's just a flat circle on the ground. It might be tempting when you're coming up to a mini roundabout just to go over that bit of white paint. Don't do that. It's still a roundabout. You still have to go round it. Do not do that on your mod too. That'll probably be the end of your test. And of course you have to be wary about that sort of stuff as well because it could potentially be wet, there could be moisture on it and that stuff is slippy when it's wet. The lane leading up to it, it's usually single lane or it's usually the width of a single lane. Something can be a wee bit bigger, a wee bit wider, but it's still generally single lane. Now we're going straight on here, so there's no real reason to do anything. Alright, we can just go straight on, no lifesaver needed. Now that is one of the key differences to many roundabouts, signalling and lifesavers. With a mini roundabout, you're on it and you're off it. Alright, there's no time. And this one here, look what we've got, we've got a double mini. Ah, uh, everyone's worst nightmare. What do you do with a double mini? You treat it as one mini, then another mini. Alright, so give way to the right, as you normally would. That's our first mini, no reason to do any signalling, we're going straight on here. That's our second mini and we're through, right? So there's no signalling and there's no lifesavers needed purely because there just isn't time, you know? You're on it and you're off it. So the only time you have to signal when you're approaching a mini roundabout is if you're going left or if you're going right. If you're going straight on, you don't have to signal. If you're going right or straight on, you don't have to do a lifesaver either. I mean, play it by ear, ask your instructor, they might have different views, but the general rule on it is with a mini, you don't have to do any signalling, any lifesavers, because there are many roundabouts, there just isn't time. Another little mini roundabout, we're going to go straight on again. I'm centre of my lane. Now you can play this slightly differently, alright? You don't have to necessarily stay centre. I mean, I would on your mod too, just to, you know, keep the examiner sweet. But if you've passed your mod too, what you can do is you can deviate that a little bit because what you'll find with some mini roundabouts, it's not like a normal roundabout where you can go straight out and then go round. Minis are small, so you find that straight away you have to go to the left almost straight away to get round it because everything's that small and compact. So sometimes just favouring either side, you know, depending on what's going to make it easier for you to manoeuvre. Now this one here, we need to indicate, even though we're going straight on, but straight on is the first exit. No matter what roundabout you're on, first exit is all always an indication. Again, with this one, nothing needed. Just through the roundabout and carry on. So they're actually really simple to use and they can confuse a lot of people because they just assume that it's a roundabout, you know, and you have to apply the same principles. And what you'll find is they'll get on and when they're trying to get off, they're fumbling about with indicators, trying to do lifesavers and stuff like that. You don't have to do it, all right? You don't have to do it. You only have to indicate going left or right. Or if you're going straight on and straight on is the first exit, which means there would be no road going to the left. Leading up to the roundabout, 
is exactly the same. You should be doing all the same checks. OSM, PSL, it doesn't take long. Observation signal if you need to manoeuvre, position speed, look. You know, couple of seconds and that's it. All the legal rules of the road still apply. You know, you've still got to give way to the right. You've still got to do all your checks, all your indicators if you need to. You don't have to do that left indicator to exit and you don't have to do a lifesaver. I mean, if you think you can fit one in, go for it. The general rule on minis is you don't have to. You know, they're just they're just so damn small. You're on it and you're off it in literally a matter of a second or two. You know, so trying to fumble about and get all that done in a matter of seconds is actually going to do more harm than good because it's taking your concentration off of what you're actually doing. But that's the basics on mini roundabouts. They're nowhere near as difficult to navigate as a standard roundabout. And as long as you apply those simple rules, OSM, PSL, make sure it's clear on you go. Signal to go left, signal to go right. No signal needed of going straight on unless straight on is a first exit, which that rule applies on roundabouts as well. So we'll go and cover a few more minis and we might go over that little double mini roundabout again because I know a lot of people can get caught out with that. You know, new riders, new drivers, they can be an absolute nightmare, you know, because that panic sets in. Double mini, you know. <laughs> this is the kind of area where you'll find a lot of mini roundabouts in these built up kind of housing areas, you know. So we need to go right here, so we need to signal. We're checking, make sure it's clear. Now, they are sometimes slow roundabouts you have to slow way down to get round them just because they're so damn small you know oh that dog doesn't like my bike that doggy does not like my bike <laughs> oh my god roadworks are appearing everywhere just now aren't they oh my god everywhere you go just now roadworks signs everywhere roadworks start here for 300 weeks Every mini roundabout I pass today, I'm just going to talk through it, just so you can see. I mean, they're all pretty standard, really. This one is a straight-on first exit again. Anybody sitting on Mod 2 today? Nope. Ah, fond memories. <laughs> we'll go back up this little road to our left again. There's quite a few minis up that way. When I was learning to drive, Many, many, many years ago, we used to go up this way a lot with my driving instructor and I used to call it Mini Nightmare because <laughs> there was minis everywhere and if you weren't sure how to navigate mini roundabouts, this is where you would go because it's got that double mini as well put the fear up anyone who's learned to drive or ride <laughs> we'll go along this section again, just go over everything that we're doing so we're checking our mirrors, we're going straight on, we're staying in the command position there's no really much point to do anything else we're making sure we're nice and clear, we've got our speed down we're through the mini, we're out the mini, we carry on. And approaching the double mini roundabout, remember if you have double minis, always approach it as one mini at a time. So I'm checking my mirrors, I'm getting my speed down, I'm already looking to the right. I'm making sure that we're nice and clear. Now you can see it's not very clear, so I'm making sure that it's clear before we come on. We're going to go straight on again, approaching it as a separate mini. And out. Alright, so if you have mini roundabouts, you approach them as one mini at a time. Don't be thinking about the second mini when you're off, when you're approaching the first mini roundabout. Don't be doing that. You know, approach the first mini, do the first mini, and then on to the next one. You know, approach them as two individual, because they are. You know, they're not joined by any means. You know, they're two mini roundabouts. They're easy to navigate, they're easy to read. Obviously, some are a little harder to navigate if you have to kind of do a bit more slow manoeuvre stuff. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's only going to benefit you, you know, getting more practice at something. And just remember, the main things about mini roundabouts is you only need to signal if you're going left or right. There's no real reason to do lifesavers because they're that small, there's not going to be anything either side of you. And you're on them and off them that quickly. And most of them are going to be about a lane's width approaching. You know, they're not going to be double lanes approaching a mini roundabout, it's only going to be one lane. Some of the islands are actually offset to the right, depending on what direction you're coming from, obviously. And you can just pretty much go straight through, you know, but if you're coming from the opposite direction, the island's actually quite close to you, so you've got to kind of manoeuvre a wee bit around it. And the rules of roundabouts still apply, you know, give way to the right, do all your OSM, PSL while approaching it. Don't go over the white island, you know, even if it's flat on the ground and it's not raised, don't go through it, go round it. Remember, just to be a bit wary if you're approaching them and your right exit is slightly kind of blocked, just be careful because uh, 
you know, you don't know what's coming around that way. So if it's kind of a bit blind, just slow down a wee bit, make sure you've got a good view before you pull out onto the Mini. Well that's about it dudes, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If there's anything you're unsure about regarding anything Mod 2 related, whether it's Mini Roundabouts, Roundabouts, Junctions, whatever, feel free to get in touch and I'll do my best to help you out. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video dudes, if you have, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate every single one of your likes and of course if you want to see all of my uploads, click on that subscribe button and ring the bell while you're there, that way you'll get notified every time I upload a video. But until next time dudes, stay safe, ride safe, take it easy.